Right tackle Bobby Massey is expected to be cut by the Chicago Bears this offseason, saving us about $5.4 million in cap space. What's up Bears fans? Happy Monday morning. I'm back with the Chicago Bears update videos. This is going to be a pretty short video because it's pretty much expected news for most of us. You know, most of us knew this was coming, but um, officially it's been announced according to Ian Rappaport that the Chicago Bears are expected to cut right tackle Bobby Massey this offseason, saving us $5.4 million in cap space. He had a dead cap pit of $3.9 million and he was getting paid $9.3 million next season. So obviously the difference is the dead cap savings that we have. So we're saving, you know, $5.5 million on our cap number for next season, which, yeah, we're cutting his contract actually pretty uh, short because his contract was set to end in 2023 at the end of the 2023 season. So we're cutting it about three years short for obvious reasons, okay? He has not stayed healthy at all. The past two years. In the past two years, Bobby Massey has only played 14 games total. That is not good enough for your starting right tackle, especially one that's not really playing at a high level either right now. Okay, for the majority of his Bears career, Bobby Massey was a decent tackle. Like he was never really that great. He was never really elite, close to being elite, but he was, you know, about average for a good portion of his career. But the last few years, especially ever since, you know, the end of 2018, he's not really been a good right tackle he's getting up there in age he's 32 years old at the beginning of next season so i'm um, obviously it's getting older and you don't want a lot of older people on your roster especially ones that are injury prone because you know what makes us think that he's gonna stay healthy for us in the future if he has not stayed healthy the last two seasons he's getting up there in age too doesn't make a lot of sense to keep him for next season okay i wish him the best of luck wherever he ends up next but i also don't think he's gonna be a starting tackle really anywhere because at this point in his career is pretty much just best as a depth piece or you know, as a backup because, you know, he's that old and that injury prone. So he's definitely not worth the money that was on his contract right now. So that is why we got rid of him. But that also means that now the, the Bears, you know, have a need at right tackle at least. OK, I don't think they're going to get rid of Charles Leno, even though if they had the money, they probably would because Charles Leno has not been a great tackle for us. But financially, we just cannot afford it. OK, we don't have a lot of cap space right now, so we can't spend big money probably on two free agent tackles because tackles are pretty expensive guys especially good tackles so we can't afford the dead cap hit on Leno and then also another guy too that's just not financially possible because we barely have any cap money right now we're under the cap as of now but we're gonna try to restructure some people cut some more guys maybe a guy like Graham could be a cut candidate next I'm um, even though I hate I would hate to see it because he's been a great tight end for us but we simply have to get rid of more money because we want to sign you know guys like Allen Robinson we also want to Maybe get a guy like Russell Wilson or Deshaun Watson if we get lucky. So to get those quarterbacks, we're going to have to open up some more cap space, which we don't have as of now. So Leno is most likely staying for next year, but Massey now is officially gone. So we need a right tackle and we have two options right there. Either sign one through free agency or get one through the draft. Um, I would say getting one through the draft is going to be a little bit hard because I think we're going to spend our first round pick either on a quarterback or to trade for a quarterback. So I don't see us spending a top pick on a lineman on an offensive tackle. That second round pick, if we keep that pick, I could see that going to a tackle. But then again, like a lot of young tackles, especially second rounders, they're not always ready to start right away. So that might not be like an immediate solution. So we might sign somebody else um, to be the placeholder. But we also have guys like Jermaine Fetty on the roster or even Alex Bars that have played tackle at some points in the last year. So there's a lot of different ways the Bears could go with this. We don't have a lot of money to spend, so we're probably not getting the top guys like Taylor Moten or Trent Williams if he gets uh, released from the 49ers. But there's also going to be more options available probably in the coming days because I've heard there's going to be a bloodbath of cuts in the NFL in the next week because a lot of teams are having salary cap issues right now because of COVID. Okay, Because of COVID, the cap number actually went down, so a lot of teams are having to cut people unexpectedly. So maybe some good talent can become available in which case, maybe Pace could pick up a tackle for cheap. But if not, then I think that drafting one in the second round or later and then, you know, having a guy like Jermaine Fetty or Alex Bars to step up at the beginning of the season, that might be our best option, okay? It's not the most ideal option because those guys are not long-term solutions. They don't play at a very high level, so it's not the ideal scenario, obviously. But the Bears don't have a lot of wiggle room here, okay? We don't have a lot of cap space. We have other needs that we have to fill first, like quarterback, like, you know, receiver maybe if Allen Robinson leaves. So there's just a lot of, you know, problems the Bears could have this offseason that we have to address first before right tackle. So even though I would love to get a good one through free agency, 
that's probably not going to happen. But again, I think it's a good move to cut Bobby Massey because he's probably not going to be healthy in the next few years. So let me know what you guys think about this move in the comments down below. And as always, bear down. <laughs>